I am seriously trying to figure out what to shoot to get some cinematic stuff to showcase this place. But there's just so many things to point and shoot at. And I mean, I can't figure out where to go. I'm super excited about it. But I can tell you one thing, there's a butt behind me. <laughs> a butt. <laughs> What it do, my moochins? Good morning. <laughs> Can't be too loud, but no. today we're inside the Louvre. The Louvre. So and oh, go, go ahead. ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> you say it because you're so excited. I am. I'm like a little kid right now in a candy shop. It's like, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yes, Ooh. he is. <laughs> like, he's not even kidding. And by the way, big tip here. So we didn't want to come in on Friday because we thought the line was long. It's Monday morning and the line is even longer. Oh yeah. It's insane. Remember Tuesdays is closed and good thing that Nas was here since seven yeah. o'clock in the morning. So Nas from Daniel and Nas was here re really early in the morning, made that line and got the tickets for us and we got VIP treatment because yeah. we just walk, walk in. Right in. That's right. <laughs> Daniel Nas, son. What, what? Yes. <laughs> I am looking forward to seeing the Mona Lisa. I, of I like, course. Like, I just got to see that. Like, I can't believe I'm about to go That's see the must. Mona Lisa. You can't come to Paris and don't see the Mona no, Lisa. It, you know, I never looked at it or even felt this way that I feel right now about it. But now that I'm here, I'm like super stoked to go check it out. Like, just to see it. And here's the person who doesn't like museums, FYI. Anyway, bombing us. <laughs> I this thought we were doing good by coming early to avoid the crowds, but this is what it looks like right at 10 a.m. So again, the museum opens at 9 o'clock. If you're going to come and this is your objective, you've got to come super early and come right straight here. Come right straight here? Come right here? Come right here. Come right straight here. Aye, whatever. <laughs> Guys, I am not waiting that line. You already know that, so I'm taking some shots from far away, and that's about all you're going to get. Uh, one of the most important arts or pieces of art of uh, Leonardo da Vinci, but definitely one of the worldwide most wanted to see and to enjoy and to come and see in first person, so it's yeah, really cool. It, it feels amazing to be in the same room as the Mona Lisa. I'm not the big historian as she is. I love history. I love a lot of things about history. I've never been the big museum type guy, like I would like to go and see it, but I never felt anything. It feels pretty cool to be here in the same room as it. I can't explain it, but take it from me. It's something that you have to do if you're out here. Yeah, it's like you're part of history now. Yes. amazing and we got to see Venus got to see Mona Lisa mm -hmm. and some other great art and it was just captivating I must yeah. say anyway we're here in Moulin Rouge this famous building right here where they've oh, been yeah. um, having shows since the 1800s so it's very famous everybody knows about this we're not gonna go in amongst other things it's because it's noon and it's not open I don't believe no, so. I don't think it's open right now yeah but anyway um, the reason why we came here to Montmartre, which is the artistic neighborhood here in Paris, is because we're going to go 
to the apartment of Van Gogh, which is literally behind Moulin Rouge. Mm -hmm. So Van Gogh was uh, an artist from uh, the Impressionist, and he's my favorite artist, so I'm really excited to come and see the apartment. I'm like, sure we're coming are. here because of me. All right. <laughs> well, my host, we decided to stop for an aperitivo because mm -hmm. I'm tired already <laughs> from walking. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> and I need some extra energy, so stop yeah. for a quick beer, of course, and a Sprite, and what did you order? So we're gonna try foie gras, which is another typical food from here, from Paris. And then we also, also ordered croquettes uh, with potatoes and ham. So I wanna, I'm like curious to see if it's a croque, like a French croque, or it's actually a croquette. Croquette. Let's see what comes. <laughs> <laughs> but this, oh, you can no, no, you tell them. No, you tell them? You tell them. Well, it's a, you were like going into it. I, I was wanna, gonna I say, I was just gonna say, <laughs> You should tell them. <laughs> all right, so we're in this cafe where um, famous paintings and writers and all kind of artists used to come here and, you know, just get inspired, have a coffee, a smoke a cigarette. So people like Hemingway, uh, which everybody knows, right? <laughs> and Picasso and so many other artists um, have come here. That's why this cafe is famous. And when I saw it, I'm like, let's go sit down and try like to feel like we're one yeah. of them. Let's I, get I feel those... the creativity coming in, it's flowing into it. Yeah. The creativity juices are yeah. coming into yeah. us. Yes. Coming into us? That's not flowing. bad. Anyway. Flowing. <laughs> flowing. Can we just, can we keep it PG? Flowing. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I think that's why everybody looks so thick here. Like yeah. I haven't seen somebody so fat. And the food is really good. So I think on top of with the food and the amount of working out you're going to be doing, just to commute, it's insane. Oh man. <laughs> That's why everybody's fit. That's why everybody's, you don't see overweight people out here in Paris right now. I haven't seen any. And I would say the same should go for New York, but our food now, we, oh, we get crazy. There's monsters here in the train station. <laughs> that is here. true. That is true. Dear goodness. Uh, the train stations are like a maze, but go ahead. I'm sorry. We're here. We're here? We're here. Oh. I don't know where, but we're here. We're here. <laughs> Not sure where. It's supposed to be one of these buildings. Okay. I have no idea. Let's find it. It says right here in this house, Vincent Van Gogh lived with his um, brother Theo, which is true because Theo was the one that managed the finances in that family. So Van Gogh was just being taken care of, basically, by his brother Theo. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> I had no I idea. Really love Van Gogh, so I know a lot of things. I'm not going to tell you all because I don't want to bore you, but this is like a really, like I'm shaking inside. This, <laughs> like I can't even tell you how important this is for me. Like he was here. I know. Just for two years. I don't care. He was here. <laughs> wow. She got to see her favorite artist, his house where he lived for two years. <sighs> And we're continuing up this crazy ass hill. Yes. Oh my gosh. Now where are we going next? We are on our way now to the Sacre Coeur. Mm -hmm. Am I saying that right? Yeah. See, the thing is, guys, we haven't told you, but, well, I did tell you, today is day five. And we're only here for a week, so mm -hmm. we're leaving in two days. Yep. And yesterday we took a break because the day before that, you already know how I died. <laughs> and then before that, that long 13 hour day walking around Paris, they just wanted to kill me. Oh gosh, and this hill right now is trying to take the rest of my life. Oh, I can see Sacre Coeur from here. I can see my soul from here. <laughs> All right, so I'm on our way to the Sacre Coeur. That's where we're going. Okay, so. After all that walking, it's finally in sight. <laughs> and, you see it, baby. and we're still going up a hill. Yes, we're oh my goodness. But there are so many like restaurants and cafes along the way, so if you're tired, you can always stop along. Now I think we chose the right street, first of all, because we have a really nice view of it. Oh yeah. But also because it's less crowded. So you don't have to like maneuver to go through the people trying to go in and outside of the store. So. Yeah, because there's a lot of stores on the other side of this, this wall right here. Yeah. And that's where everybody's walking because it's all different restaurants and knick-knack stores. And I'm still drained from this hill. <sighs> We're almost there. Yeah, okay. Suck it, girl. Okay, so after this walk. I got a walk. Here. 
It is worth it. The walk is worth it. Once a lifetime is good enough. <laughs> Once a lifetime. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe if you do it every week, you'll get accustomed and it won't be like, no. such a hard work. There's no getting accustomed to this walk at all. But I can say this view is definitely worth it. Seeing the Sacro which I haven't showed you yet, looks beautiful, but this view is also worth it. Like just yeah. all that behind you, just the whole city back there. I gotta love it. And I wonder how it looks at nighttime. This would be a good spot to visit at nighttime yeah. to see it light they up. I actually recommend this place to come at sunset mm. for getting the best views and seeing the sun because the sun is setting in that way and the whole city is over there. So I understand why they recommend it now. All right. But guys, here is the soccer trip. So it's been a long day. Yeah. I'm tired and we've been out here now. This is the day five. And tomorrow we're gonna to try to get to the Eiffel Tower early in the morning. Okay. <sighs> and then we'll ah. enjoy the Latin Quarter. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> but that's gonna do it for us guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you're proud of me for walking this damn much so far. <sighs> Don't do that to my arm. That's my gimbal arm and it's dead already. <laughs> <sighs> oh. <laughs> If you really enjoy Paris the same way we have, or if you just want to support the channel, we appreciate it. Subscribe to Travel More, and as always, remember to live the life you want, love the life you live, and travel. If you didn't know, this is selfie the very first guy to ever take a selfie. Got the great pose, that's how you do it, people.